Ladies and gents, welcome back to this channel. This movie will tell you everything you need to know about AMC stock, including the facts, my opinion of what's going on, and the market at the moment. So, it's clear that AMC stock had a bad earnings time. I think that both AMC and the markets are going through some strange times right now, but AMC looked at the big picture and saw that they beat on both sales and EPs, which means that they made a lot of money. Read what Ortex says when AMC makes $522. There are many price goals that are higher than that, but that would be almost 20% higher than where it is now. AMC is having some basic success right now. Things could keep getting better from here on out. On the earnings call, Adam Aaron's emphasis on the need to raise capital and keep a big cash reserve, on the other hand, sounded a lot like diluting. It's going to happen soon, which is why I think the markets are in a strange place with AMC. Nothing's going to be happening tomorrow but on Tuesday, so we've rallied a lot, and there's been very little give back at all. There's, there's basically no price discovery right now, and it's kind of crazy. If, if you guys been in the markets a while, I assume a lot of you guys probably got into the market markets. Uh, you know, 2022-02-021 with the whole uh, movement AMC, GA, or whatnot. Maybe you got in before, but I mean, this is the lowest level of volatility you have seen in a long time. I mean, it's even kind of crazy to look at this on a weekly candlestick chart. This is the SP500 and back during 2020 and 2020, 2121, when there was massive stimulus. Literally stimulus checks going out to people when there was um, quantitative easing the Fed was literally keeping rates ultra low buying bonds. There was more volatility and price discovery in markets, I mean, than we have now, which is crazy, right? Uh, given there's still a lot of uncertainty on, on, on. What's going to happen? Like, look at, look at this period of time. These weeks, there was red candles in here, right? There was green candles. There was red candles. Look at now there in, in the last 18 weeks, there's only been two red weeks. And the red week that we had was the first week of 2024. You were down one and a half percent. And uh, three weeks ago, you were down a third of 1%. Every other week has been higher here. You were up 5 5.85.85.85%, 1.36%, 2.3%, 1%, nearly 1%, 1% plus 2%, or two tenths of 1%. It really does feel like you're flying and you don't even get paid for it. Find out how much it costs. I think you're a little too eager here. A market needs to be found. I think that the fact that there is greed in the markets just shows that we are not ready for any bad news. That is, Jerome Powell could give us new information, or the non-farm payroll numbers could be good or bad. Who can predict what the thing will be? One will happen at some point. It sounds like you're pretty high when you talk about big events from 57 years ago. 61 to 64 and only in 19 to 95, 2007 to 2018, and now. I'm talking about these recent times in history. I think the highest point of that cycle was in 2007. 2018 was right before the 20% drop that happened because of the Christmas break, the trade war with China, and other things. It was a pretty bad accident. I don't know how many of you were at the markets at that time. That's when things start to go badly. The S&P would fall all the way to 433, if it fell another 15% from here. At this point, a 20% drop would be impossibly big, sending the SP back to November 2023. That would mean giving up everything, and I think that would have to happen for that to really happen, since NVIDIA just recently reported its profits. I also think that real worries about a slowdown or even stagflation would have to come up. However, the scariest thing is that you might fall even further if that did happen. For instance, a 33% drop would mean that you fell all the way back to your low point in 2022. Yes, and if there was a deep decline, the market might go down by at least 20%. On the other hand, a the markets can fall because people are afraid of a recession, which I don't think will happen soon. But March 12th will be a big day for the arm lockup time, as I've talked about twice on the channel. In other words, arms are likely to drop a lot on March 12th or in the weeks that follow. That could put pressure on your AI trade, which could make the markets correct if people start to think that these the price of AI stocks is a bit high because they are pricing in several years of growth that will be much faster than expected. There are a lot of things that could go wrong with that, which is why I'm bringing it up here AMC might have trouble with it in the future, maybe not too far away. After AMC reported earnings, but the company's stock fell by about 135%. It's up almost 1% overall and down 0.3% after hours. At $434 a share right now, I don't think this is another time when AMC is too expensive. I guess so, depending on the figure you're using, as long as they can pay their debt. 
The price of AMC stock is at an all-time low, so it might be a great time to buy. There is no filler or hype in this, it's just bad. It's crazy to think that you are trading well below your lows for bankruptcy fear in 2021. I think you lost about 70% of it from 2021 when everyone thought AMC might go bankrupt. There is no fluff here. That would be silly. There isn't any hype here. To be honest, I think that puts you in a pretty good position for positive surprises on the upside. But there is still the debt block, and AMC stock is currently priced for some level of bankruptcy as well. I think you're in a strange time, and if we get dilution, that could be the final nail in the coffin. Soon, AMC stock could be worth $2. I don't know if we'll get dilution, but if we don't, I think you'll just have to wait it out. I don't think there's anything that will really move AMC stock until the markets move. You could make the case that as we get closer to the June 1st rate cut, you could start to see more dollars coming into our markets and more money going into AMC. Okay, that could definitely happen. On any given day, you might be able to get Adam Aon to promise not to harm owners. I thought that should have happened two earnings ago when AMC was $11 per share. AMC would be a $20 plus dollar stock right now. Um, Adam Aaron did not do that. He's pretty bad at his job as, as, as far as an investor uh, relations. But we'll just call it that that's obviously not his specific job. But that's a big part of his job is to, you know, get the stock higher, to keep the stock higher, to keep the stock higher and dilute shareholders at higher prices, right? If AMC was a $20, $30 stock right now, Adam Aaron could dilute shareholders and it would like fundamentally help the business. So who knows? I, I, I mean, I could ran about Adam Aaron uh, for a long time, probably an hour. But uh, long story short, it's all about dilution with AMC right now. No dilution, fine, a commitment. Not to shareholders, really good dilution, bad. That's it. That's the thing that's really going to move AMC until we start to get interest rate cuts and AMC can uh, extend out debt and uh, lower there. Interest rate's okay. Now you do have a short interest percentage of free flow at 12.59%. There are 136.9 million open short bets right now, which is enough money to sell 1.87 million shares. Short shares are also loaned out for a period of 38 point double one seven three nine five something else that is different is that there are always people short selling amc even though it might not seem like there is a lot of desire for it the volume on the call side was 7.69 percent on friday while the volume on the put side was 2931 the open interest for the following week shows that 56.6 percent of the interest is in calls and 43.8 percent is in puts based on this it looks like there will be more neutral trading action with amc stock According to the STO tracker statistics, there are currently between 1,500 to 1,600 calls in the money. You may view this information by restarting the page. An amount of 35,000 needs payment. On this upcoming Friday, there are a total of 99,100 put options that are currently profitable and roughly 19,000 put options that are not profitable. While these numbers may not be the largest, the following week, namely during the arm lockup period, could experience increased market volatility especially concerning your AI stocks. Expect a significant rise in option trading during the week of March 15th. Monitoring the 10-year treasury rates is important. A decrease in these levels would be helpful. Presently, there are more than 4,000 in the money calls, 235,000 out of the money calls, and over 30,000 out of the money puts. On Friday, there was a drop of approximately 6.5 basis points, which likely caused a 1% gain in AMC stock 10-year treasury notes. These bonds are currently at a rate of 4.18%. The anticipated decrease is projected to persist on Wednesday and Thursday when Fed Chairman Powell gives testimony before the Senate. The impact of his statements on 10-year Treasury bonds is expected to be significant. Dot, although I don't anticipate any major new information, I am aware that if we do, it may have an impact on the Treasuries and our market as a whole. Stocks that are sensitive to interest rates may be more open to positive or negative shocks. Now, opinion toward AMC is neutral at 50, as it was yesterday. That's not too bad, given that it's Sunday. Message volume is lower today than it was yesterday, 46 and participation ratio is high at 55, which means that more people are talking about AMC. That's good, but I don't think anything truly happens until we get new facts. It will be difficult for AMC to take major action until we receive a commitment to not see dilution, some sort of news or correction event in our markets, a broadening of our markets, a broadening of our markets. I believe that, when considering the risk-reward ratio for AMC, it is prudent to buy the company now, if not to hold it outright. The time to sell, if you are in that camp right now, is long gone, and I believe that a better time to sell is coming. As for the next move, I believe that AMC will rise. It sounds like Adam Aon wants to dilute shareholders once more, 
but when they look at the numbers, they'll realize that the stock is too low for dilution, which means that the stock will plummet to $2. That is simply not a desirable situation. On the other hand, the percentage of stocks above their 50-day moving average is 55.5%, and it has been rising since you reached the low of roughly 44% still overall. In October and November, between 15 and 20% of stocks were trading above their 50-day moving average. 86% of stocks were above their 50-day moving average at the start of 2024. At that point, there is a sort of everything rally. When only the broad markets are rising and expanding, Though we have a ways to go, certain segments of the markets are undoubtedly beginning to disperse, if only slightly. Let me know what you think about this, ladies and gentlemen. The RSI is not quite neutral at 45.1, but it is quite neutral given that it is below 50. Anything in the range of 45 to 55 is, in my opinion, quite neutral. Should you drop below this point, you'll likely find yourself back in oversold territory. If things simply sort of trend sideways or maybe go higher from here, the MACD line might very well go positive this week, which would be positive and could attract more traders into the market. Tell us what you think about this information by leaving a comment below. Tell me in the comments below whether you believe the price of AMC stock is going up or down at this time. I appreciate you viewing, and I hope to see you in the upcoming video.